Okay, hopefully this works. I've recorded this like three times already, but it, it's, it's chill, it's chill. Hey guys, this is Lightning Fox back at it again with another video, and today we are checking out a game that I have wanted to, to, to bleh, whatever, okay. So today guys, we are checking out a game that I've wanted to check out on the channel for a very long time. It's actually an older game. It's uh, originally came out on the PlayStation 1 back in the mid to late 90s. I don't know the exact date. I'll uh, probably list that above in the editing process. Uh, it's probably gonna be up at the top somewhere. This game, uh, I want personally for my own collection, despite the fact that I don't talk about it very much on camera, I have a pretty strong affinity for older games, and I'm actually a little bit of a game collector off camera, uh, not hardcore or anything, I just like to, you know, collect games that I like and that I think are interesting or whatever, but yeah, this game, I'm gonna go ahead and skip this cutscene because we've already watched that. But yeah, this game is LSD Dream Emulator. It's a really weird and kind of wacky game. It's, uh... It's interesting. I don't know how to describe it really. And that's probably the reason why I like it so much. This is one of my personal favorite games of all time, just because of how weird and random it is. And fortunately it's gonna, oh, it's actually a different cutscene. But yeah, I'm gonna keep, I'm just gonna talk over this. So um, yeah, this is one of my favorite games. It's, I would actually relate it more to like an experimental work of art more than a game. I know that sounds kind of weird, but like that's the best way I can put it. It's, uh. It's just really different. I think I, I think the reason I like it so much is because of that like ex experimental and like different wacky factor in it. Like it's weird. Like I think this like whole cutscene kind of sums it up though. Like it's just so different. It's weird. But yeah, this this kind of I'm pretty sure simulates kind of what it's like to be on an LSD trip. And I'm gonna preface right now and say, I don't condone the use of illicit or illegal substances, so don't do that. Um, I don't wanna get in trouble, one, with YouTube, and I don't wanna be responsible for, uh, you know, any any bad things that happen, because I care about you guys. I don't want to, yeah, uh, just, just don't do it for my sake and your sake and everybody's sake. But yeah, we're just gonna go back into it so we don't have to watch any more cutscenes. Um, but this game kind of uh, simulates what it's like to be on an LSD trip, I guess. So first off, we start in this house. I was actually wanting to use my DualShock 3 controller right here, but unfortunately I was not able to because it can't connect to my computer properly. So instead we're gonna use my Xbox Elite controller. Um, I got all the bu buttons mapped properly and everything, but Let's just get right into it, explore a little bit. So this is kind of the starting area. It's kind of like, you know, I guess a house or whatever. And one thing we should keep in mind is whenever you bump into like a certain object, you like phase to a different place, like right we are right now. But yeah, you phase to a different place. It takes you somewhere random. Okay, so we're here. And I actually tried to record this like, like five minutes ago, but the recording messed up. I think I actually saw this earlier. I hadn't seen this before, but there's actually like a city underneath this pond, which I find interesting. I kind of want to go to it and see what happens. Let's go this way. Another thing, okay, another thing I mentioned like in my recording I, that failed, my bad recording, I guess. A lot of this is color coded, and at the end of each day, we'll have a chart that kind of maps how good or bad or dynamic or static our ex experience was. Dynamic and static being how much, how many, how much things changed, I guess, and how little things changed. Dynamic, static. So, you know, we have this chart. Upper is up here, downer is down here. Dynamic is on the left, static's on the right. Upper, I'm pretty sure upper is like how good the experience was. Downer is how bad. Um, uh, dynamics, how, I guess, dynamic things were and static was how static things were. So everything's color coded. I don't personally know what the colors mean myself, but I'm pretty sure that blue had to do something with how our experience is determined at the end. So I guess we'll see that once the day ends. This is actually like ironically my least favorite world out of the lot. And like I I've done a little bit of research on this game too. So I kind of have some knowledge going into it already. But this is probably my least favorite world because, uh, also, we have a run button. A is a run. A, if, you, if you hold down A, 
or press A, I guess, while you're moving. Uh, you can run uh, the shoulder buttons. Let's see, right shoulder, left shoulder. You can look behind, um, X, down, Y, up. And ironically, you know, nowadays, I don't know how it is in the rest of the world, but um, A for North America, that's how you like select things. B, how you cancel out of things. But back in the day, and this game came out, I'm pretty sure this game was a Japan only release. Uh, so I'm playing the Japanese file right now. Uh, if you look at the controller uh, for PlayStation, you know, you have cross, not X. I'm pretty sure that's actually called cross, uh, circle, square, triangle. In Japan, back when the PlayStation first came out, circle was actually the way you selected things instead of uh, X, cross, or on Xbox it would be A. Oh, we have a red one. Hold on. Okay, so that was actually high, upper, and dynamic. I actually got dynamic and static uh, backwards. I kind of want to see if we can get like all the way down to downer or like down to the bottom of like where dynamic and static cross. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, the control scheme's a little bit different. We have uh, B for the selection and A is how you run. I'm actually not using the thumbsticks. I have to use the D-pad because I'm pretty sure this game came out before either before the DualShock was released or before analog support was really widely accepted on PlayStation. And also, if anybody in the, like, if anybody watching can speak Japanese or has a way to translate this, um, please put that down in the comments so we can see what that says. I personally don't speak Japanese. I wish I did. And that was actually right in the center because nothing really happened. But I don't speak Japanese. I plan to learn it um, in school pretty soon. Uh, probably next next year. Whenever that happens, we can, you know, translate a little bit real time. I'm gonna try and go in the painting. So. So, okay. I was actually taken to this place last time I came here. I, I tried to go through the painting in my last recording. That didn't work. Um, and it took me to the exa this exact same place. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if like certain objects take you to specific places because initially I thought this was all randomized and like procedurally generated somewhat. Um, I think the, the colors are randomized. And even then I'm not sure about that. I think the colors might actually depend on how good or bad static dynamic your trip is. But either way, things change quite a bit. But I think it's interesting that this brought me here specifically because I thought it would just take me to a random place. That opens. We can go out, which was weird because last time it didn't let me go out. It shot me back to the beginning of the tunnel. So this is actually more blue. Sorry for the horrible noise. That's just, I'm just going to get out of here. Actually, wait, what's that? I think it's just... I'm gonna get out of here because I don't, one, I don't like that sound, it's horrible, but two, I don't think there's much in there. Correct me if I'm wrong, I haven't seen a lot of that area, but to my understanding, there's not a lot here. Somebody, yo. Oh, we got a cutscene, cool. Train tracks. Oh, it's a Ferris wheel. Okay, interesting music. And also guys, I wanna clarify. Okay, that's weird. Um, I wanna clarify the uh, the video, like the cutscenes on here are like really compressed because back in the day, also that was more downer. So that's actually kind of what I was shooting for. But um, the video is really compressed because um, you know, back in the day, these games came on CDs at first. Uh, you know, now we use Blu-ray. Um, ooh, what's that? Okay. So, ooh, what's that? Yeah, this this is this game is just gonna be a lot of ooh, what's that? What is this? What does this do? Just a preface. But ooh, what's what is? Th is that a building? But yeah, as I was saying, back in the day games came on CDs and I'm pretty sure like the average storage space for like a CD was around 770 megabytes so obviously you had to like cram stuff on there especially if you're putting video full motion video I'm gonna go in here and see what this is so this was actually a structure it's not a hill 
Now we're back in this place. Yeah, as I said, I don't know if I actually said this or not, but this place is uh, my least favorite out of the different places, which is ironic because this is the most wacky and crazy one, and that's the reason why I like this game. I think the reason I don't like it is just like how busy this the scene is, like how much color there is here. I don't know, it's weird. It kind of reminds me of like a children's toy box or something. It's, I just, ugh, I don't, I don't care for it. It's gonna, this is gonna sound like, whoa, what is that? Hey yo, hold up. Dang, hold up, chill. Oh dang, I backed into a surface. Oh no, okay. Okay guys, this place is the creepiest out of the bunch. Ah, oh, dude, this is creepy, man. I'm pretty sure this is like the more downer place. I don't I don't know how to put this into words because I just don't know how to describe it. But there's like a lot of interesting stuff here, so to speak. This was actually one of the things I was wanting to show you guys. So her head fell off. We're transported somewhere else. I didn't know that would actually transport me some, somewhere. It looked like there was like another figure. Oh my gosh, we're back here. So that place is more of like a downer place. I wanna see if we can get there like once more. Cause that's actually my favorite place out of the bunch. Let's see if we can find that one thing, the lips. Oh my God. Yo. Okay, that scared me. What is this? I think this is like flesh or something. That's weird. I want to go back to the city. I want to go back to the creepy place. I'm just gonna like phase around a bunch until I can like get somewhere. Now what is that? Hold up. Oh, it's an astronaut. I think. I don't know what that is. I think if you like fall down like holes like that, it'll reset your like chart. So we don't want to do that. Or I think it, it won't reset the chart. It'll just bring you back to baseline. I think like the, in the center. I don't know how that works exactly. I don't want to try it. Also, kind of off topic, but I did a poll on YouTube uh, the other day about what di whoa, some fish, about what direction you would like to, you guys would like to see the channel go in in terms of content. And the one that won was indie games. That's actually that's that's ironic because it's partially how the channel got its start with Baldi's Basics. But yeah, I'm gonna do more indie games, more like random stuff like this. I'm gonna do more like older games too, if I can. Yeah, more older games. That was more static. Nothing really happened, unfortunately. I think for these, I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna leave it at day five. Actually, no, no, we're gonna, I think we're gonna go to day 10. We're gonna go to day 10. Originally, I was gonna go to day five, but we're kind of blowing through these nights pretty fast. We'll just, we'll, we'll see how, we'll see where it goes with this one. But yeah, I'm gonna do more like, for one, indie games, more uh, old games too, just random stuff. I guess in a way, kind of stick more true to our roots. Like, I'm gonna, I'll probably check out some like larger games here and there, but... Oh, yes, we got a red one. Hold on. Which one is this? Which one is this? Oh, uh, we're in this, this one. So this is like a Japanese-styled town, I believe. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for stuff you would like to see, leave it down in the comments. Or, I'll probably do some more polls pretty soon on stuff like that, so watch out for those. So actually, I don't know, I thought red was downer, but red might be upper and blue might be downer because like red, that's more of like an active color, I guess, warm color. And blue is obviously more cold and stuff. So we might wanna get blue, actually. Oh, whoa, whoa! Hey, yo. You don't need to chill. That scared me for a second. Oh, why do we keep coming back here? Oh my gosh. I want to go back to the creepy place. What's this? Oh. Oh, what is this? What's down here? Just the ground the sun. Interesting. It's hmm. another sun. Hey, we're back. Let's go. Okay. 
Guys, we can't, we need to like not bump into anything. We need to like stay here. Here we have some dead bodies. If you guys wanna better understand what I'm talking about in terms of this game being kind of whack. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Last time when I bumped into one, it made me have a more like downer trip, but I also want to like explore a little bit. So we're going to see if there's anything else down here. Let's see what we can find. So I guess this is kind of a dead end. Some warehouses. There was one time actually, I went to one of these warehouses and there was like a dude in here and I bumped into him and he like transported me to like a some sort of like alien world or something. Or it might not have been like, it, I think it might have been like a ship or something. But either way, I got like transported somewhere that I haven't been able to go to any other way. I'm gonna go try and bump into one of the bodies because I wanna see like, kind of my goal for this, like I mentioned a while, like a little while ago, I wanna see like how downer I can make this. Just like how bad I can make it. Let's see what happens. Cause I think, Oh, yes, we got downer. Good. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm gonna actually leave that off there. Uh, it pains me. Like, uh, I could record this all day. That's actually interesting, too. I've never seen that symbol near the day. I want to see what our graph looks like, though. So, okay. So we, we actually got, like, way up in upper, but we're on, on the way back down towards downer. So we're actually going the way... I was hoping to go. I want to see if I could go like all the way down. Maybe more towards like dynamic down in like the bottom right hand corner. I don't know, man. This this game is really interesting. It's something else. I don't know how to describe it, obviously, but like, man, it's 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 wacky. And we got another cutscene too. Got some sax, saxophone music. But yeah. Anyway, guys, I think I'm gonna end it off here. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this game as much as I did. Um, if you if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. If you didn't, there's that other button I don't like to talk about, but it's there if you didn't. It... Ah, words, my words. Can't talk today. I'm tired, like guys. I stayed up late the past couple nights, so my brain's just like... I don't know, it's just whack. But what I was trying to say is, dude, I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm exhausted. But anyway, if you like this video, leave a like down below. If you didn't, there's that other button I don't like to talk about, but it's there if you didn't. And be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for updates on future videos if you like this. And if you want to see more of this, be sure to do that. So uh, yeah, without further ado, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.